Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So on Wednesday, you guys saw that mom and I went to the character warehouse. So today, of course, I have an obnoxious bag of stuff. Mom and I said it was almost like we had never been before. Granted, we probably have not been since October or maybe November of 2020. So it has been a fair few months and there was quite a bit of stuff in there. So we went hard. It's okay. I'm very excited by everything and I can't wait to show you. I am also going to put up either like in a little subtitle or something, the total spent at the very end versus how much it would have been retail. So you can kind of see the savings there. Um, but I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it because Lord knows this will be a long video if I keep yapping my trap. So um, first and actually the very last thing I picked up was this Sully lounge fly. So the lounge flies that we saw while we were shopping were the like Funko or Chibi style attractions, characters all over print. I don't know what it's called, um, but you guys will have seen it in the video on Wednesday. I have never been a fan of that style of animation of characters, so I knew that that was not something that I wanted. But the little girl that was in line behind us actually was holding on to this and walked out of line to go put it back. So when mom got called to go to the register and pay, I went the other way and grabbed the bag and then met her at the register so we could check out. So this was originally $80 got it for $40.99, so 50% off. And Sully is probably my favorite character in the Monsters universe. Um, definitely Monsters University, probably being my favorite of the two movies, which is very rare. I feel like traditionally people like the originals more than the sequels, but Monsters University, I guess it's technically a prequel because it was when they were at university before they were worked at uh, Monsters Inc. So anyway, then we got um, some little hair accessories. I'll save those. I want to or at least get them all together. So everything's kind of grouped together. Okay. So we'll do stuffies next, and then I can do all the hair stuff together. Okay. Cool. Guys, this bag is redonkulous. So we'll do stuffies next. So uh, mom found this one. This is gonna be for our collection. I am just going back and forth on themes or things that I would like to do for our upcoming, not now, I'm not pregnant, but when we do have a baby in a nursery, I always have lots of themes and ideas for what I would like. I know I don't wanna do Toy Story because I know that is very popular and um, I just would like to branch away from that for a little bit. So I first thought of doing something like Splash Mountain because I love the Br'er Br'er, Br'er Rabbit, the song, um, just the whole kind of more muted tones. And I like that it's gender neutral. So I was thinking about that. But then mom has been kind of collecting these big feet plush. We have the Mike and Sully already. And she thought it would be kind of fun if we just had floating shelves of just really sweet, big feet plush or just plush in general and just have it just be generic Disney. But you know, all their little plush characters, which I thought was a really cute idea. So that might be something that we do. Um, so we did pick up Cheshire. It was $26.99 and I wanna say he was down to $7.99. Um, so, I mean, so sweet. So that one's for us. This one is for Giovanna you know, my husband's sister's daughter, so our niece, and she is a um, multiracial baby. Her mama is Mexican and her dad is African American. So we are always trying to not only get her um, all dolls for cultural representation and things like that, but also trying to find dolls that are more closer to her skin color. Um, just so she has some that look like her, but also it's important to have dolls that look like everybody, not just yourself. Um, but another really thing, uh, really thing, <laughs> another thing that we are really looking for or that's important to us, as I said in the tour video, is we like the soft face plush because as 
you're a baby and you're playing with it, picking it up, throwing it around. If it hits you in the face or on any part of you, it's soft plush. So it's not that hard plastic that could bump you and leave a bruise. Um, so we really liked this one. We picked up Jasmine. It was $26.99 and we got her for $4.99. So $4.99 for this really sweet Jasmine plush for Giovanna. Could not say no to that. Okay, so I'll do like headgear um, accessories and then we'll do clothing last. Mom picked up this. This was $3.99. She was eyeing it in the parks. It's always really cool when you see something in the park in the warehouse. It was originally $29.99, but I'm unwrapping it to show you. She definitely is someone that prefers hats over ears. She does have a couple ears in her collection, but um, when we go to the park, she's much more apt to wear a hat. So it's a unrolled, or it rolls up, and when it is unrolled, it is a sweet little beach hat, little visor. So you would still probably have to wear sunscreen along your hairline because your the top of your head would be exposed, but at least you're getting the shade, blocking the sun from your face. Um, and it was $3.99. And it's nice because you can just do 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 roll it back up. It's got a little elastic to keep it closed. Love that. Um, so we did get two pairs of the Ariel ears. These were $3.99. One of them is in a giveaway in my last video. So again, if you have not seen that tour and you're wanting to win a pair of Ariel ears, make sure you check that out. I'll actually stick those up there so I don't put them away with um, my stuff. Let's see if I can like prop them or is that dangerous because of the candle? It's probably dangerous, but I live for danger. Oh, see, that's cute. Those are the giveaway ears. And then these are my mom's. She wanted to get a pair for herself. And then I just could not remember if I had these in my collection. And they're such a beautiful lavender lilac color. And we're also $3.99, couldn't say no. So I got these. And if I already have them, I can gift them to a friend or what have you. So got those there. Then we ended up getting three of these. Mom found these. I think they had maybe six or seven designs total. So they had my Consoli, who we got, and they're so cute. I definitely think I will wear these to like keep my hair out of my face as I'm doing makeup or just getting ready. But I also think that these are a great alternative to park ears or um, baseball caps. I know that they were very popular in the Asian parks and kind of made their way over here and I don't think that they were as popular, but I think they're adorable. They were $1.99, but the original price is not on there, so I'm not sure how much they started at. And then mom also got the unicorn from Inside Out for her treasure box at her work. They also had Simba, Judy Hops, Stitch. I'm feeling like I'm missing one, um, but $1.99, I think that these are precious. So loving that. And then we got some thing for Giovanna, a sun theme for ourselves. So for Giovanna, we picked up these. They say three and up, I believe. Yeah, not for children under three, so three and up. So we'll probably wait for not for this Christmas box, but the next Christmas box that we send to her. But it's got the alligator clips with some sweet little mini heads and then just elastic hair ties with these mini plush um you know ornaments on there so cute and they were originally ten dollars and we got it for five so 50 percent off and then i think mom picked these up for herself these were 9.99 down to 3.99 these kinds of things are always just such good stocking stuffers easy to um buy these and kind of tuck them away for yeah stocking stuffers easter basket fillers birthday i mean just any of that kind of stuff Mama also got this. This was originally teal. I don't know how much that is in the parks and it does not have a how much we paid. So, um, but I, I think the keychains were, you know, two, three ninety nine. dollars um, Anyway, it's got some charms from Small World. So uh, I don't know how well you're gonna see. It says adios, goodbye, shalom, aloha, avida zain, ciao. And it's a small world with these clock face, right? Or is it the sun? Anyway, so cute, right? 
Mom got that. And then the last thing, little, that we got, I picked this up for our good friends, Tom and Josh, I think more specifically Tom. Um, this is Ian Lightfoot from Onward. They are both Onward lovers. I don't know if he has this pin already. I hope that he does not. If he does, it was only $3.99, so you might just have to have two. <laughs> I have one to trade, I'm not sure, um, but got that. Okay, the final bits of things that we got were clothing, and all of the clothing was an additional 20% off, which is really nice because usually since it's the warehouse and things are already so discounted. They don't do any additional discounts on top of it, but they were running a special. And I think it's because so much of their clothing stock was winter wear. Um, they're just trying to get the winter stuff out of there for the new spring thing. So we got a couple things for Giovanna, a couple things for myself, a couple things for my husband, and then I'm all done. So first up for Giovanna is this one here. It says, who needs a crown when you have a bow? And it's got sweet black polka dot and red bow print all over the sleeves and the little front pocket and then the hood of course nothing on the back oh oh my gosh <gasps> the sleeves the little mini mouse elbow patches stop it i didn't see that so this was originally $24.99 and we got it for $9.99 and then 20 percent off of that oh my gosh I love it adding to Giovanna's pile and look how perfect the, the mini hair ties Ugh, I can't okay and then this set two-piece set was originally $32.99 and we got it for $12.99 and then again 20% off of that but here is the top it's a beautiful soft baby pink and you have an embroidered mini and Figaro down here on the bottom and then the little leggings are just white and pink polka dot and do have a little Minnie Mouse patch on the little ankle there. So nice two-piece set. And again, she could wear probably this little silver clip in her hair. Ah, oh, so cute. And then the things I picked up for myself, the first being this tank top for food and wine. I traditionally do not like dated merchandise. But this was one that I was eyeing when we went to Food and Wine Festival and did not pick it up for myself because it was $36.99. But for $7.99, I could not say no. I love the kind of like cornflower blue with the silver world showcase on the back and mini feeding Mickey. I think they are just precious. So I was very excited about that one. And then I got this. Which I was also I'm also very excited about. Are they attached? No, so I can like take it out. Okay. It's a pajama set. Um, so I saw this at World of Disney when it released. This was originally $49.99 and I got it for $19.99. Again, an extra 20% off of that. Um, so here's the top. It's a little button up. And it has a pocket, a little pen pocket, with the Cinderella Castle printed on. And then the bottoms look like this. And they've got an all over symbol print. So you can see like Merida and her mom, Mulan's dragon, Cinderella's carriage, Aladdin and Jasmine, um, or the lamp, Genie's lamp, uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip, a little seahorse for Ariel, I'm assuming. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Pascal. I just love these. And they are nice, you know, full on cotton pants. So I think that these will be perfect for comfy days at home. And then the inside has got a sweet little ribbon on the inside of the shirt as well that says live your dream. Oh my gosh, the details though. Okay, cute. So the last thing I got for myself, I'm like willing it into existence. I have been wanting to go to Alaska, honestly, since I saw the movie The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. It's probably one of my favorite movies ever and it is set in Sitka, Alaska and I have wanted to go since then. And Disney Cruise Line has a uh, cruise that goes to Alaska and I want to go so bad. <laughs> I want to go so bad. 
So obviously all of the cruise ships have been docked because of COVID and all of these itineraries and these trips have been canceled. So I'm sure all of the merchandise that they had purchased ahead of time then are not going on the ships because they're dated or for specific adventures. So they just went right to the character warehouse. There was a ton of European and Alaskan cruise merch there. But I picked up the Spirit Jersey, Spirit Jersey brand. It has an Alaska 2020 patch. So just ignore the 2020. It's Alaska, which I is, think is so exciting. It has Disney Cruise Line here along the back. It is a kind of velvet or velour navy color and i'm trying to find the tag there we go oh the little price was taken off um oh no okay it's there it was 69.99 and i got it for 17.99 and again 20 percent off of that 17.99 so i don't know any other time i've been able to find and purchase a spirit jersey for that cheap much less one that is putting good positive vibes out that we can go on a cruise i'm really shooting for 2022 really shooting for next year next summer that would be amazing so this will be like two years out of style or out of date by then but i don't care <laughs> i'm so excited um so then to go with that in that regard for abel i found a nike one which nike is you know not a cheap brand this was 80 dollars originally got it for 20.99 and so it has nothing on the back. It's just a little quarter zip and it says Disney Cruise Line Alaska on the Disney Wonder 2020. I think the Wonder is actually the only one that goes to Alaska if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me zip this up so you can, when I hold it up, you can see. So I just thought that this would be a really nice throw over for a bell. Um, obviously he's gonna need to bundle up something on top of this because it's actually pretty thin, but I thought even like, um, you know, like transportation to or from the ship, in our room, on the deck. I don't know. I just thought that that was really cute. And it went with mine, so we'll match. And then the last thing that I got for him was this. So Halloween's been gone for quite a many months now, but this says unbelievable. It is not dated merch, so he can wear this any Halloween. I loved the kind of um, ringer style. I like the style of ringer tees. I don't like them on myself, but I think that he's gonna look so cute in this. Look at this vampire Mickey with his trick or treat bag. Ugh. And this was $36.99 originally, $12.99 marked down. So, so cute. Um, so here's my receipt. In total, we ended up leaving the warehouse $188.72 lighter. But as I said, I'm going to add up all the retail prices and put it right here. So you can see how much we paid versus how much we would have paid retail had we not paid the um, discounted prices on all of these things. And I actually think $188 for a lounge fly backpack, several items in clothing, including a spirit jersey, plush, three pairs of ears. I mean, we did good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Constantly going to Disney and other adventures here around Florida. Um, really this year, I've taken a step back from feeling like I have to upload three times a week. I'm still uploading as much as I can, but it's definitely more when I want to or when the video, you know, I have the videos to upload. I'm just doing it for me and for fun and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying rather than feeling like I have to get a video up for the sake of a video. So regardless, I hope you stick around because I love having you here with me and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!